Good Tuesday evening to you. Richard Scott here with a forecast update on the storms coming in tonight. Uh, currently, the recording update is at 9 o'clock, so just kind of give you a heads up of what's coming our way. Here's a look at radar. we got a line of thunderstorms that are severe back in Mississippi. Now, these are coming through Tupelo, approaching Hamilton and Vernon within an hour. So heads up for Lamar and Marion counties. Could see a severe thunderstorm warning added for you here pretty shortly. But the back edge of the storms are approaching uh, Interstate 55 now in central Mississippi. These are fast moving. They're not going to last long in one spot. Here's a look from Tuscaloosa. This is from Bryant Denny Stadium looking northwest. And uh, no sign of lightning just yet from Tuscaloosa, but it won't be long. We'll be able to see some lightning off in the west horizon. Temperature 77, wind out of the south-southwest, pretty gusty at 13 in the Tuscaloosa area. Again, 70s across the board. Uh, winds uh, gusting to 22 in Birmingham. Uh, so, again, winds will pick up tonight as these storms do come on through. So, here's a look at the radar and satellites, how fast these storms are moving across Mississippi. They'll come into Alabama uh, pretty soon. In fact, over the next 30 minutes or so, moving into our northwest counties and then impacting Interstate 59 shortly after. A severe thunderstorm watch in the counties in pink for northwest Alabama. We'll likely see that extended further southeast to include areas like Tuscaloosa and Birmingham. And you see the orange polygons. That is uh, severe thunderstorm warnings across much of east Mississippi, uh, roughly from the northwest corner of the state all the way down to Jackson. So again, those will continue to move off towards the east. Again, tonight, showers and thunderstorms come on through, uh, really impacting our area as we go towards 10, 11 o'clock for West Alabama. Here's our future cast. Now, as we go towards midnight, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Gaston, heavily impacted by the storms. We move on through by 2 o'clock. Things are winding down, although we'll see about an hour worth of rain behind that leading edge. And the leading edge of the storms is what we need to watch for, again, some isolated damaging straight line winds with this event. Here we go on the timing. Again, 10 p.m. to 12 a.m. for much of west and northwest Alabama. Now, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Gadsden around 11 o'clock through 1 a.m. Again, that's uh, during the time frame we'll see the storms come through. And for our east Alabama counties, Talladega down towards Rockford and Clanton, 1 a.m. to uh, 3 a.m. After 3 a.m., all this is going to be long gone. Uh, the highest risk of some damaging winds in that yellow area basically along and northwest of Interstate 59. Again, it's going to be a fast-hitting event. We'll watch things carefully tonight. We'll have an update on news at 10 o'clock. And if we do have a tornado warning, which I think the chance for that is very low, we'll go on air and stay on air until the warning expires. If that does happen, it's probably going to be up there in northwest Alabama uh, before midnight. I don't think there's going to be a high risk of this. The main risk is going to be, again, for a damaging straight-line winds. And even that should be fairly isolated. So again, join us at 10 o'clock. We'll have more updates on here as well through the night. So uh, keep checking back with us for updates.